guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm filming kind of a different video. I haven't really seen anyone do one like this, but basically I have a makeup confession. I'm a cereal makeup box hoarder. So basically what I do in my beauty room is I collect or hoard makeup product boxes. So if I buy a product, I usually keep it just in case I want to return it or I change my mind about the product. So every once in a while, I'll go through the box and see all the makeup packaging that I have. And I'm like, oh gosh. And then I'm like, oh, I've had this for months. I'm not going to return it. I really like that product. I'm going to keep it. So yeah, I collect all of this shit. And I just thought it'd be so fun to show you guys kind of the boxes I've been hoarding for the last couple of months. So if you guys are interested in seeing this really random video, just keep watching. So as you guys can see, I have so many boxes that I've hoarded that it actually fills up a whole Ikea bag. So definitely grab a snack because I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a long video. So the first box I have been hoarding is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Fenty Glow. And this is her little gloss. Now, I'm definitely not a gloss person, but you know, the whole Rihanna thing happened and everyone was like trying to support Rihanna. And so... I bought her foundation, I bought one of her highlighters, and I bought this because I was like, oh, I've heard so many good things about it because this was one of the items I picked up more recently from her. And I like it, but it's not like life changing. I think it's really cool that a lot of people have actually made it through one of these. Personally, I just don't wear enough gloss. I don't see myself getting through this anytime soon, but it's a good gloss. And if you want to support your girl Riri, you might want to pick this up. Next product is the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops. Now, CoverFX is one of those brands that created this and then they just like ran with it. They did the Glow Enhancer Drops, now they did the Glitter Drops and all kinds of stuff. In this particular product, I got the shade G70. I really want to try their new foundation, but I'm trying to be good. I don't need any more foundations. I do own this one. This is supposed to be like a really concentrated foundation full of pigment. So if you want to mix this in with your face lotion, if you want to be kind of low maintenance, or you want to add more coverage to your, you know, full coverage foundation, that's what this is supposed to be for. It's the custom cover drop. So very cool idea. I don't know a lot of brands that do something like this, but I think since CoverFX did it, I've seen a similar product from like NYX and stuff like that. So it's a cool concept, very innovative. Do I, like, would I repurchase this? Absolutely not. I don't need it. I have enough foundation. So kind of a giving a product, but also has a good place in this world, I think. Next product is one that I actually reviewed on my channel a while ago and then I repurchased this. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I'm really enjoying this. Like, I don't really know why I didn't, well, I, I do know why I didn't like it when I first got it, but now it's just like I have such dry skin and this works so well for me. I definitely don't think it's all day coverage, but it's really a nice foundation for dry skin. So, I would recommend it, plus I love NARS products anyway, so I continue to buy foundations from them. The next packaging I was hoarding is the Pat McGrath Labs Liquid 007. These were a limited edition liquid lipstick launch from her. You guys know this packaging, it's full of like sequins, and then you like cut it open and pour the sequins out and the products in there, it's very high maintenance. Um, but yeah, I was hoarding this because apparently I thought I was going to return it, question mark. But I do love these liquid lipsticks a lot. I don't wear them enough, but it's a really cool product. I don't think you should go out and buy it because they're way too expensive for what they do. But I do like Pat McGrath, so it was one of those things I was like, okay, let me try it. The next thing I got is the Flower Pots Powder Blush, and this is a soft satin finish. Easy to blend, buildable color. And I got the shade Peach Primrose. I had two of the other shades, but I wanted to get this one as well. So I picked it up from Ulta.com, but now Flower Beauty is available on Ulta as well as it's always been carried at Walmart. And these blushes are amazing. I've seen them featured in a lot of people's drugstore like favorites and with good reason. I hope they expand this line at some point. Packaging is great. There's a lot of really good things from Flower Beauty. So if you guys are looking for hidden drugstore gems, this is definitely one of them. Another product that I've been hoarding are the Huda Beauty Nude Love Collection Liquid Matte Minis. I do love that Huda does minis of her liquid lipsticks. I just think for somebody like me who doesn't go through their liquid lipsticks as much, 
it's just nice to be able to try all these different shades and smaller sizes. If you've ever seen like my beauty room, I have a little like army of these minis and I know like all of these nudes just like work for me. They're like my go-to shades. So I absolutely love this and I think these are still available. So if you can pick them up during the next VIB sale, I would recommend it. Another box I've been hoarding is the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. So this is the palette from 2017. And I'm actually trying to pan the one I picked up from 2015. Um, but this is the newer box because, again, it's an $80 palette. And I kept the box because I was like, in case the shades are too light or they don't work for me, I'm obviously going to return it. So I held on to the box. But uh, I think it's finally come time where I've made up my mind that I'm going to hold on to this palette. So I will be getting rid of the box, making big progress here. The next few boxes are ColourPop packaging. So I have three palettes. I have the Dream Street palette, which was their collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I personally don't support Kathleen Lights, so I don't buy like Kale Polish, but I do like the ColourPop formula, so I just want to own all of their palettes, and so I did buy this one, and I do like the palette. I think she did a good job with it. This is the Double Entendre palette. This is an amazing dupe from ColourPop for the Tarte Toasted palette. I actually did a swatch comparison of them, and it's actually one of my most watched videos, so if you're interested in that, check it out. I think it's a great dupe. It's like literally the perfect dupe. And then this is the Take Me Home palette, which is one of their mini palettes. This guy is awesome. These palettes, I feel like, are so underestimated. They are the perfect size for travel or if you're just like a low maintenance human being that doesn't need like 80 eyeshadows, this is going to be great for you. The other box I've been hoarding is from Pat McGrath Labs and this is from their matte lip. This is in the shade 1995 and everyone is going crazy for this color and Pat McGrath in general. I really like this lipstick formula and I don't even like lipsticks but it's so so comfortable so if you do want to treat yourself to something nice I would recommend the Pat McGrath li lipsticks if you can't afford this you know what I think would be a great dupe is the ColourPop lipsticks the luxe lipsticks that they just came out with they are so creamy and just really hydrating on your lips so yeah I think both those products are really great okay guys now I have to grab the giant bag oh god uh oh okay so first item is this brush set I actually got this when it went on sale on Macy's.com it was a really good deal and I believe is it live from live loves or makeup that says really good things about this product it comes with five limited edition gold brushes double ended and there are some double ended eyeshadow brushes complexion brushes double ended foundation brush double-ended cheek and highlighter brush, and a double-ended concealer brush. I think this was a really good purchase. I love picking up affordable brush sets, and Tarte does make some decent brush sets. I know a lot of people are really upset with Tarte right now. I'm not saying run out and buy everything from them, but these were a good purchase, I think. Like, a very smart purchase for me. Another box I've been hoarding is this guy. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Beauty Escape set. I picked this up during the VIB sale. I kind of almost don't want to throw it away now that I'm looking at it in my camera because it's so cute with like the beach in the background. So this is a $59 product that has a $75 value. This is really cool. So everyone and their mom talks about the Brazilian Boom Boom Bum Bum Cream and of course I thought this would be a great way to try the product. It also came with the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't used that a whole ton and I'm saving the Boom Boom Cream for the summertime because I heard that is when it is at its optimum level of usage. I have been using the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. I don't think it's that great. It's not like overly hydrating by any means so I'm glad I tried this out, but I don't think I'd go and repurchase this. Like, it's it's fun to have it, so I know what the hype is about, but how cute is that? It looks like the car is driving. Okay, anyway, very cute packaging, so I've been hoarding that. Here's something I've been hoarding because I'm like, will this, like, ever turn into one of those things where it's, like, a limited edition deal that I could sell? But this is from the Moschino X Sephora collection, and this is... 
the Odo to Odo Toilet Natural Spray. This is a perfume that came in the bear packaging. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's right there. It smells amazing. Like that scent just reminds me of summertime. And uh, the fact that it came in this like bear packaging was amazing. So I like hoarded the box in case I didn't want to keep it or I didn't like the perfume. And uh, I also kept the box for the eyeshadow palette which is over there um you can see it it's that bear packaging again so i held on to it because i was like oh what if it becomes like a collector's item like will i be able to make some money off of this product someday i don't know but it's just time to part with this it takes up way too much room in my makeup room and it's just like hoarders 101 up in here the next box i need to throw away is my mia 2 this is from the clarisonic I didn't think I would enjoy a Clarisonic, you guys. In fact, my husband bought me a Clarisonic like two years ago. He loves reminding me about this because he's like, that's what I bought you and you returned it because I wanted the Foreo so bad. Then I tried the Foreo and I was like, eh, like this isn't really worth a hundred and something dollars. So I ended up returning that too. But then last year, this was on sale on Sephora.com. And I feel like I paid really quite little for this. So yeah, I really like it. I'm going to keep it and it honestly is a game changer for my skincare. So if you've been debating picking up the Clarisonic, I would definitely recommend it. I also got the foundation brush head. I really need to try out the foundation brush head. I want to film that for YouTube, but it's like I have a million YouTube video ideas and just like no plans of execution. <laughs> Next box I was hoarding is the Ace Beauté Quintessential Palette. This palette is so amazing. It's an indie brand. I don't really know much about it, but I do have, I think, a review on this palette, and pigmentation is insane in this palette. So if you are looking for a neutral slash colorful palette, this has some great pops of color in it, and yeah, I really like it. It's a really good eyeshadow palette. Okay, guys, I've been hoarding the Jaclyn Hill X Becca collab palette. You guys know when this came out. I got this as it came out. So I've had this box for multiple years. It's kind of embarrassing. And now I finally decided to part with it. It's like the end of an era, you guys. I used to be such a huge Jaclyn Hill fan and now I'm like unsubscribed. I don't follow her on any social media, but uh, I still have this palette and hopefully someday I will use it up because it is a good palette. Come what may. <laughs> this is the Flora Hydroactive Cellular Face Oil Box. And I've been hoarding this as well. I love, like, Sunday Riley's packaging because, like, it's so cute. Like, the bottle is just, like, sitting in there. Um, so this is my most recent Sunday Riley purchase. And this is for very dry, dehydrated, weather-weary, or mature skin. This nourishing blend of, I can't say half of these words, but basically it's for dry skin. So I jump right at it when I had the chance to pick it up during the VIB sale. I really like this. I do use it at night because it is very intense. I don't think it would be great for under my makeup. Also, there is such a stench. <laughs> it's not a stench. It's just it has a really not so great fragrance to it. So I can even smell it after. Like if I wear this under makeup, I can still smell it throughout the day. So I prefer to just stick with this at nighttime. Let it hydrate my face and then just use the Juno oil for my daytime moisturizer. Since we were talking about Sunday Riley, here is another box I hoarded. This is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Again, I wasn't sure about this particular like product, so that's why I kept the box in case I wanted to return. Also, these Sunday Riley products are super freaking expensive, so yeah, I wanted to see if it worked. If it wasn't working, I was gonna take it back, but I love them, so it's finally time to part with the box. Okay, here is a box I've been hoarding. I don't have the highlighter anymore. I did sell it on my Poshmark. I got rid of my Jeffree Star highlighters because I'm not a huge fan. I didn't really love this collab. I do still have the two liquid lipsticks, but of course I had to pick up the box set when it restocked because I used to drink the Manny and Jeffree Star Kool-Aid. It was really good Kool-Aid. I was really obsessed with both of them, so I didn't want to have any FOMO on missing out on this collab, but... You guys, like, why do I have the box when I don't even have the highlighter? Like, it's ridiculous. I wonder if I should put any of this packaging on Poshmark. Like, it would almost be kind of funny to see if people bought the box because... You know how people put, like, Chanel boxes on, like, Poshmark? Or you can buy, like, a Chanel bag, like, the shopper bag on Poshmark? I think it'd be really funny if I just put, like, 
Manny MUA X Jeffree Star box. <laughs> like, how much would you pay for a box with no makeup in it? Okay guys, a little bit more skincare. This is the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. I picked this up from Beautylish um, when Beautylish was like the only brand that was carrying the Ordinary. So I only just started using this though. And honestly, I just need to make a pact with myself that I'm not buying any more primer because I honestly don't like primers. I don't need that extra hydration usually, especially if I'm using my Juno oil. So yeah, I don't have too many thoughts on this, but The Ordinary is a very affordable skincare line. So if you have some skincare needs, I would totally check them out. This is the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. This is supposed to awaken and renew, of course, everybody and their mama is talking about Drunk Elephant and I honestly don't know if they're worth the hype. This particular product I don't think is hydrating enough for my under eyes but I feel like I've had it for quite some time and I feel like it's a little too late for me to return it so I'm just going to use this up but I will not purchase this product again. I did get their vitamin C eye cream and that one is a little bit thicker so I'm interested to see how that will perform versus the Shaba Complex. I also picked up the Dior Creme de Rose lip balm. There's so much hype on this on YouTube, like some of the bougie YouTubers. I do like this product. I think it's good. Is it life-changing as far as hydrating your lips? I don't personally think so. I think Fresh, those lip balms by Fresh, uh, the sugar ones are like my all-time favorite lip balms. The red one, the one that comes in the maroon packaging. If you have problems with chapped lips, that is my savior. That's my go-to product and I think it'll work really well for you as well. So check it out if you have lip, dry lip problems. The Ordinary Buffet. This is like their most hyped skincare product. I swear to God. I remember so many people talking about the buffet when this line kind of exploded. So I did pick it up. You do have to be really careful because there is stuff in here that is going to make you kind of break out. Now it says it helps with surface hydration fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines, texture irregularities. I do feel like it made me break out. I know my friend from the Instagram, D The Divine Glow. She loves the buffet. Um, so I do need to use this more. I, I'm not a skincare expert, so I don't know. If you have any questions, I would just ask her. Okay, guys, we're slowly making our way down the pile. The next item I have is... The Bronze Goddess Illuminating Powder, and this is in the shade Heat Wave. They relaunched Heat Wave last year, Estee Lauder did, and you bet your bottom dollar. I had to get my hands on this because this is like one of the most hyped products on YouTube, so I was very happy when I got a hold of it, but when I realized it looked like every other shade of gold highlighter I already had, I was a little bit disappointed. I did end up keeping it though, and I'm not too mad about it. Here is a box from Suva Beauty. I recently picked up their Cupcakes and Monster palette, but there's really no reason for me to hold on to this box, so I will be tossing it. And I don't have any reviews on the Suva palettes yet, but they are coming, just so you guys know. This Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask is so hyped on YouTube, and I refused to buy it for the longest time because I was like, eh, who needs a lip mask? Who needs a lip mask? But a lot of people just use this as like an overnight treatment and that's what I do with it and I honestly do think it works really well. And I love that it comes in a squeezy tube because you can get all the product. This is probably my favorite product from Bite Beauty and it's probably the only thing I'll ever really buy from Bite Beauty. I'm not really a fan of much else that they make. I know they have quite a few different types of lipsticks but this lip balm is the best thing they make in my opinion. I love the Pat McGrath eyeliners. This is their Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil and this is the shade Black Coffee. So it's like a brown, like a dark brown. I love these. They stay put. They glide on like butter. You can smudge them out or just wear them in your waterline. I really want to pick up like all the shades of these. I really don't think I'll ever use a different eyeliner other than Pat McGrath unless she stops making them, which I hope she doesn't. Okay guys, of course, you know, I picked up both the Tarte brush sets from Holiday 2017. These are such good deals. Again, they retail for $44. I would recommend picking them up when they're on sale, but Tarte does make really good brushes. 
I do wish they made just like more eye brush sets and face brush sets instead of doing like half and half because I do feel like I have a lot of repeat brushes but yeah I do have these if you can still get them I would recommend them I won't be buying any more Tarte brushes because just in general I just have like all the brushes I need unless like all the hair falls off all those brushes I think I'm set for brushes right now so very very happy about that okay so I've been hoarding this Chance by Chanel box and this is from a perfume that I picked up in the last VIB sale as well. This is the green bottle. I had been eyeballing this perfume forever and I was so happy to pick it up when it was on sale. This fragrance is amazing. If you're into fresh scents like I am, you'll really love this guy. So definitely check it out. I believe it is sold at Sephora, Macy's, Ulta, everywhere. Here's another box I'm hoarding. This is the Becca Holiday Palette. This is the Apriski Glow Face Palette. I refused to buy this for the longest time. And then it went on sale on Sephora.com, so I picked it up when it was on sale. And this freaking palette was amazing. It's just like the best palette for my skin tone. I love the bronzer, the highlighter, the blush shades in here. This was like a great palette for medium skin tones. So I'm very happy I bought this. If you guys ever see a Becca palette that you might think works for your skin tone, I would really recommend it because... Sometimes these are like hidden gems, and I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on that palette. Here is a NYX Epic Ink Liner box that I saved. I picked this up pretty recently from Ulta because I wanted to try something new. I love ink liner pens like this, so I tried it out. This has a brush tip, and the thing that happens to me with brush tips is the brush, like the bristles get caught in the cap, so I always end up ruining my brush, like my brush tipped eyeliners so I'm never buying another <laughs> brush tip eyeliner pen again because it's such a waste of money I'm just gonna stick to the felt the felt doesn't get caught in the clip and like make huge mess and make it unusable so yeah this was such a bummer okay guys got some liquid lipstick packaging to show you again I was holding on to these in case I decided not to keep them but these are the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipsticks and I bought these farm sanctuary shades that she did in collaboration to help like farm animals or something so I got the shade Hilda and Thumberlina these are the two shades that I thought were more me I really love Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks I've said that many many times on my channel and uh, these were no exception I love the new shade she launched on our website I really really want to pick up more shades I bought one shade which is the shade Milagro I've worn it in a few of my videos but there's some really cool shades on her website and I hope she does free shipping soon because I'd like to pick some of those up. Here is another liquid lipstick. This is the shade Mondays by Dose of Colors. I picked this up when these were on sale during one of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I really like this formula. This is probably the only thing Dose of Colors makes that I like. I, I don't like much from them but their liquid lipsticks are really good and the shade Mondays is like the perfect rosy nude for me so yeah this is a good buy okay guys this is the little lemon drop from the dry bar so this is basically a mini size of their lemon drop hairbrush now do you need to go out and buy a ten dollar mini hairbrush absolutely not I bought one of the full size because I was so curious to see if it was worth the hype and the reason I kept the box for this one is because I was planning on returning it but I carry it around in my purse and I'm just gonna hold on to it but I would not repurchase this again. I also hoarded the box for the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I actually really freaking love this palette and I would recommend this to anyone if you want something neutral, if you want something like a little bit colorful, if you want to start playing with some duochromes, I would totally recommend this. Love this palette. Throwing it in the box, keeping the palette. Here is my box for the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I got the shade 370. I really like this foundation. I think it's going to be really good for me in the summertime. It's a little bit dark, I feel like, and very, very matte. So I stopped using it for the winter, but I liked it when I tried it. So I'm definitely excited for it to get warmer so I can use more of my matte foundations. Here is a smushed box of the Pat McGrath Permagel, and this is for the shade Black. I am obsessed, like I said, and I love the packaging. It's so cute. Okay, guys, last four boxes. So here is a mini Suva palette. This is a magnetic palette. I bought four shades from, like, their summer line, and it came with a free magnetic palette. So that is the box for that. 
I also tried the Duo um, Brush On Strip Lash Adhesive. I'm not a huge fan of this kind. I actually recently tried the Huda Beauty Lash Glue and it's amazing. I've only used it once, so like don't take my word for it, but do. Like if you're like on the market for a lash glue and you're like perusing Sephora, I would recommend the Huda Beauty one because it's really freaking good. I bought these Anastasia Beverly Hill scissors. These are like brow scissors, but they're just so handy to have for like trimming lashes and stuff. I remember last year I did a wedding and I didn't have small scissors on me, so I ended up using like really big scissors to cut lashes. And it was very embarrassing just to have like these honking big scissors to cut lashes with. These are way more delicate and wonderful, so love these. Last but not least is the box for the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. This is kind of a regret for me. I was immediately attracted to it because it was so different, but I don't reach for this highlighter at all. And I thought I would use it as like a special occasion highlighter where I wanted just like that pop of yellow, but I really haven't gone back to this. So a bit disappointed in myself, but hopefully I can encourage myself to use this highlighter more. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on makeup products and beauty products and skincare products that I had hoarded boxes for. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different, but again, it was just an opportunity for me to talk about products that don't always get featured on my channel or it's a product that I've had for a while and kind of forgotten about or the YouTube beauty community had forgotten about as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.